yeah, so today I'm going to talk about my project, uh, CRDD.el. And uh, uh, it's a real-time collaborative editing environment. And uh, so, so first, let me apologize that I'm very bad speaker and in general, very bad natural language processor. So if you like, if it, it, like, if you don't understand me anytime, you can feel free, feel free to like ask me to explain it like slow, um, like slowly or anyway, yeah. So, so uh, CIBT.EL is an, a real-time real co collaborative editing environment, and it is built using a sound, um, a, a, a sound and one state of the art algorithm. Uh, it's a local split algorithm and. Uh, there's actually, you can see there's a paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 there's a nice paper for it. And uh, if you are more interested, you can find the reference in the code. And you can see that it is currently running on this two buffer I'm showing. Although they are on the same Emacs for demo purpose, the synchronization goes through a TCP connection. And you can actually see that there are two sessions here. And uh, one is the server, which is this buffer. And uh, the other, you can. The other is the client, and and which is this buffer. They look, they look the same because they are synchronized. Okay, so now left side is the server, and right side runs the client. And uh, it should be work the same way for any number of Emacs in any places. And it also has a built-in NIT traversal mechanism, and that is described in the readme. And I can say that it is something that we never had before. And I wrote this because I didn't find any satisfying collaborative editing package in general or, or for Emacs before. So of course there are other collaborating environments, but they all sucks because they are not Emacs. And there were and there's Rudo. Uh, some of you might have heard of it, but it relies on the discontinued protocol, Obi, and it's hard to implement fancy features, especially those uh, especially especially those Emacs, like very Emacs centric uh, features. For example, like the baseline synchronizing the cursor, and uh, synchronizing the mark the marked region. They are almost on the uh, on, uh, on, on like impossible to implement. In, in in like in other protocols, and moreover, you see we have synchronization of overlays, and this is a this is a very non-trivial stuff, and also integration for org org mode. Yeah, you and uh, even I'm not sure this will work. I, let me hope it work. And even the implement even the integration for org mode spreadsheet or tables. Also, uh, talk, talk about talk about Rudo is basically written in Java style, and I tried to hack it, but find end up in some factory method hash table after following like four meta dots. And I don't know if anyone wants to do more non-trivial hacking on it, but I'm not satisfied with the code. But uh, the CRDT.io is all written in reason reasonable Emacs list in list style. And there's also together and together.io, some people might, might have heard of use it, but I find it almost unusable, even if there's just two users editing different parts. And the reason the reason becomes apparent if you try to look at the source code of togetherly.el. And you will see that it is using a very naive and possibly the most naive synchronization algorithm, which just hard push the state of the, the server to the client whenever there's any contention and discard any of the changes client is client client made the client made. And that is, and in practice, I find it really annoying. And uh, whenever there is, there's really need for collaborative edit because uh, because like what's because if if it mess up every time two two person edit together, it is well it it is not like so collaborative. And uh, on the other hand, CRPT.EL, as I said, it implement uh, one state of the art synchronization algorithm, and the implementation is quite non-trivial. And I uh, I tried very hard to get it right. Like currently, I think it is almost right. Like it is like two thousand lines of code. Yeah, but 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 one we like as I said, currently it's still very early state because it's a crazy semester and I'm having very little time. But the the but once we get it down, it, it can possibly be an even like better better collaborative collaboration environment than say Google Docs. And the Google Docs actually use a much older algorithm. And according to some of my friends, it also suffered from from some condition issues. But like once we get CRDT.EL really down, it can it can get much better and much more responsive. And what's more exciting, however, is the idea of of Emacs as an operating or collaborative operating system. And uh, yeah, uh, I actually have something written in my page. I think. Yeah, it's in the end. Yeah. So the idea comes from the observation that comparing to other operating system. So now I'm 
referring to Emacs as an operating system, I, I think everyone feel comfortable about this. Although last time when I said this to a professor, he argued that no, Emacs is not because it doesn't have a kernel. But anyway, but it, I'm going to continue referring to Emacs as an operating system. And Emacs applications usually follow a much more unified data or state model, which is centered around the buffer. This actually make it probably much more suitable to the concepts of, of network property of network operating system, distributed operating system, or like collaborative operating system, which is a word that I just coined. It is quite unexpected that seeing that there are very little experiments on this direction before. So lots of Emacs application stores most application state in the buffer text, which is a very unified model and associated objects such as text properties and overlays, probably plus some buffer local variables. Now we have great synchronization implementation of the buffer text already. What if we also implement synchronization algorithms probably based on CRDT for all, the, all of those buffer-centered constructs? So following the idea, I've implemented overlay synchronization, which as you see, immediately, immediately like give, give us the benefit of being able to synchronize like voting status. Oh, I'm just doing some, tri doing some trivial, trivial example, right? And and for the, uh, uh, and but I think there's still much more to be to be explored. And the vision is to make Emacs the most powerful collaboration environment on the planet. Like well, there, there are already like a great number of powerful applications in Emacs. What if what if for any of them we can make them collaborative? So that's all what I have about CRDT.el currently. Thank you. Yeah, any comments? Yeah. This is really, really cool. Uh, and that is thus far my comment. It's really cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Agreed. Agreed. Thank um, you. I guess the one question I do have is uh, I think more about sort of what sort of, and maybe you've talked about this, like, do you find that there are particular things that do slow it down or if there are like there's a certain amount of um, if there are a certain number of people that are trying I guess it's not a certain number of people but like what sort of limitations do you find from um, connections or anything like that or does it work pretty well based upon even really slow connections yeah like uh, currently I didn't do really lots of like the real real what I tested for for, for it yeah uh, 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 I've tried it with some of my friends and it works fine but mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether it, it, it will scale like to really large sessions. But I think, so the, the, that's just pure, uh, so we definitely need to benchmark it. That, that's just purely uh, like a uh, prediction. But, uh, but, but, but I think like, uh, like a dozen, for example, 30, 40 people, in, in principle, it shouldn't affect the, uh, affect the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, oh. yeah but because uh, uh, actually the CRDT algorithm, it, 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 gets, it gets favor in the academia basically because it has amazing scalability, and in principle, it can it can work without a central without a central server and can scale scale to thousands, thousands or even tens of thousands of users. Mm -hmm. And and some people already does it. So uh, for CRDT.el particularly, we are using a central server. So like the network bandwidth or the processing power of a central central server can become a problem. But it can but 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 it will definitely be much more better than the previous like OTR with them or like those approach, which really uh, re requires lots of work work to be done on the server. Uh, because mm -hmm. they need to, they need consensus, uh, consensus and control algorithm to like sort the history. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can go into more detail about that, about that, but but probably like not not now. Yeah, so 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 in principle, it should be uh, in in current state, it should be already be able be able to scale scale to like dozen dozen person. And if we have more time, I I can actually spend some time to make it fully distributed, like without a central server. That will be probably not a thousand lines of code, but it is doable and it is doable based on the current infrastructure. Um, and so also in your code base, it looks like you have sort of a list of things that you're currently working on for it. Is that correct? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 kind of. Yeah, but, but yeah, but, but I think like currently the, 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 the most, the currently the most important thing is fix bugs and I'm trying to catch bugs and fix it. That's the currently most important thing. Yeah. 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 I hope I can like fix as much bugs as possible, like in one month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Arthur just posted a link about CRDTs uh, for YouTube. So I think everybody should definitely check that out. Does anybody else have any questions for Tiantan? All right, that is it then. Thank you so much. We are, I look forward to your second talk.